hi everyone hope you all are doing good in my last video i showed you how to clean the air fryer using a simple trick hope the video is useful and you're using that simple trick today i'm going to make something new and exciting crispy crunchy zucchini bite how does that sound i'm going to show you how to make this delicious snack in the air fryer you can have it as an appetizer or as a side dish so here's a yummy snack that's going to be crispy and crunchy from outside along with a firm juicy bite from inside with plenty of flavors i'm going to finish it off with a garlic cilantro topping so keep watching and let's get started Welcome to Shine with Shopes. This channel is all about making you shine with my healthy diet and building your emotional strength. So make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any new updates from me. For this I'm taking two zucchini. Rinse it well under cold running water before you use. Cut the ends. I'm not going to peel. The peel is edible and it will help to hold the desired shape in place. Instead of round shape, I'm going to cut in an angle, giving a diagonal shape. Hold the zucchini firm and cut it in a 60 degree angle. Continue cutting this way, trying as much as possible to make the pieces uniform in width. If you google the benefits of zucchini, it's amazing to see how much nutritional value it adds on your body, your skin and your hair great for you next use a paper towel lightly touch and remove any excess moisture from the zucchini pieces also flip and do the same way in a mixing bowl add half cup of basin or chickpea flour then add half cup of ragi flour what is ragi flour so what's ragi flour? Ragi flour is a powder food that's made out of ragi grain, a finger millet powder and it has plenty of protein. So it's very ideal for vegan and vegetarians who are looking to include more protein in their diet. And it's a low fat content, rich in fiber, rich in iron. So it's very useful for those who are anemic and who have low hemoglobin level. To this add half cup of water and whisk well so that there are no lumps formed this slurry is looking good now let's spice it up add one teaspoon pink himalayan rock salt add one teaspoon garam masala one teaspoon smoked paprika one teaspoon roasted cumin powder one fourth teaspoon red chili powder for an extra kick Add Italian seasoning. This is a mix of dry herbs and smells fantastic. Mix all the ingredients well. As I'm mixing, I notice that the slurry is getting thick. So I'm going to add a little bit more water to loosen up. This is a good consistency. And always make sure to taste to check on the spice level. My working station is ready with the slurry we made and breadcrumbs. Take each zucchini piece, dip it in the slurry well, then into the breadcrumb mixture. Make sure the zucchini is coated well on both sides. Then keep it aside on a different plate. Continue the same way with the rest of the zucchini pieces. Instead of breadcrumbs, you can also use almond flour. Remember how I used almond flour to make cabbage chips? These coated zucchini pieces looks wonderful and ready to be air fried. First, preheat the air fryer. This will help reduce your cooking time. I am setting the time for 4 minutes under 370 degree Fahrenheit. In the meantime, I am chopping around 12 garlic cloves and keeping it ready to garnish later. Air fryer is ready. Now brush the basket with avocado oil. This will help the snack not to get over dry and keep it crisp. 
place the coated zucchini pieces one by one next to each other. Make sure not to overcrowd the basket. I am able to place around 10 pieces. Now it's time to air fry. Set the time for 10 minutes and the temperature to 390 degree Fahrenheit. Halfway through, after 5 minutes, turn each piece, brush a little bit of oil and continue to air fry for 5 more minutes. In the meantime, let's make this garlic topping. It's inspired from the Spanish version of garlic parsley sauce. I'm using coriander leaves, rinse and chop them fine. Cilantro or coriander leaves together with garlic is going to be so flavorful. Heat a heavy bottom pan, drizzle in some olive oil. Now add the chopped garlic and cilantro. Stir on a medium high heat for a couple of minutes until the garlic turns slightly brown. Then add salt. I am using pink Himalayan rock salt. Mix it well. Squeeze fresh lime juice. The aroma is so good. Quickly mix and our topping to garnish is ready. The air fryer is beeping. Let's check it out. Gorgeous. Look at this beauty. Love the color and it's crispy. Ready to serve. Plate it. I'm so happy with the turnout. Combined with finger millet, ragi flour and chickpea flour on these zucchini pieces makes it even more nutritious. Now let's garnish with this yummy garlic cilantro topping. This air fried snack can be a party starter, serve it as an appetizer, an evening snack or a weekend get together with your family. Healthy snack can be tasty and filled with flavor. If you have any leftovers, just leave it in the fridge and the next day just air fry for 4 minutes and you're good to go. The best part is you can have some vegetable protein fiber all in one bite. This looks so gorgeous. So yummy, so yummy. Please give it a try, you will love it. If you like this recipe, please share it with your friends. Stay tuned for another exciting recipe and don't forget to shine with shows.